this is the Flavor of Leadership podcast. I am your host, Clint Hoops. Together, we explore the unique blend of leadership wisdom that helps top leaders consistently achieve work goals, develop personally, and find fulfillment with family. Let's get started. This is episode number 56. It is the week of Thanksgiving, and things are likely busy in your world, just like they are in mine, and maybe even a little chaotic at times, preparing to have everything just right. You may be traveling for Thanksgiving, or maybe everybody's coming to you, but you're probably planning on having a great time with the ones you love. Recently, my wife Angie and I were just remembering one of the best Thanksgivings of our marriage. And the funny thing is, is it was perhaps the most unexpectedly so. At the time, we had two small children, and I was going to school, and I was doing my master's degree, which is incredibly busy in and of itself. But I was also working full-time, running a durable medical equipment operation as well which also kept me extremely busy. There at the medical equipment operation, we sold things like wheelchairs, power wheelchairs, hospital beds, CPAP machines, and home oxygen. So it was the week of Thanksgiving years ago, and I was on call over the holiday since all of my employees were traveling for Thanksgiving, which meant I couldn't go very far in case there was an emergency. And I'm telling you, in that world, in that industry, There's almost always an emergency. It doesn't matter if it's over a holiday or not because people get sick, things happen, equipment malfunctions, and so we needed to be there and be available. So I couldn't go very far. And so driving the six hours back home to our hometown was was out of the question. So we were not going to be having Thanksgiving with our families like we had always done our entire lives and entire marriage at that point. Our plan was to just have a small Thanksgiving with our little family of four. And and we were making the best of it. It was gonna be, it was gonna be fine. But something was missing. It just didn't didn't feel quite right, but it was gonna be, it was gonna be okay. I remember I was speaking to my mom right before Thanksgiving, and she had just spoken to my aunt. And my aunt, you know, she only lived just a, a short drive away from where we were living. And so when she found out that we weren't going home, she invited us at the last minute to come join their Thanksgiving dinner. And, you know, she she was amazing. You know, she ended up coming and just insisting that we come. And and, and it was one of those things where, like, you know what, let's just do it. Let's go. It's just a short drive away. It's close enough that I can still be on call. And uh, but it'll still feel like we're we're going and doing something special. So we decided let's let's do it. So, in, you know, in our lives, like I said, we've always done Thanksgiving with 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 all of our parents and siblings and and uh, and also a lot of extended family as well. But like I said, we always had our parents and siblings and attendants with us as well. And we had our own traditions and those little things that we always associate with making the holidays, you know, whether it's Thanksgiving or Christmas, whatever it is, just right. And, and and we always kind of think of those little things as you have to have those things, right? If you don't have those, then then it then it's not the holidays like it's supposed to be, right? And we had some of those with Thanksgiving that we were going to be missing out on. So this Thanksgiving, since it was going to be different, with none of those people in attendance that we usually had, uh, just my cousins and us. If any of them are listening right now, they they may not even remember this random Thanksgiving day, but we sure do. I'm telling you, uh, we felt so welcome and everything was so wonderful. I can't even remember all of the little details necessarily. Can't really pinpoint everything that made it so great. But honestly, I think it was kind of our mindset and how we came into the experience. We had just, let go of any expectations of our normal traditions and decided just to enjoy where we were with the situation we were dealt. And it was a wonderful situation. In fact, it was amazing how how good it felt to just enjoy the company of my cousins and family with no stress. 
No expectations, like I said. My aunt even volunteered to watch our kids so that we could go to a movie together. It was something we hadn't done in a long time. And I don't even remember what movie we saw. It didn't really matter. But I do remember how grateful we were for my aunt. And how this unexpected Thanksgiving was exactly what we needed at that time in our life. So I share this story to remind us all to enjoy where we are and in whatever our circumstances may be right now. It's okay to be happy where we are now. Remember that things have a way of working out. Perhaps this Thanksgiving or the rest of the holiday season aren't going to be quite how you planned or quite how you hoped it would be, honestly. But things do have a way of working out for the best. The challenge for this week is this. Enjoy any time you get away from work during Thanksgiving and the rest of the holiday season and let go of perfection and strive for connection with those you love. This Thanksgiving just might be your best one yet. So I should note the episode today is shorter and that is by design. I want you to spend as much time as possible with your loved ones this week. So happy Thanksgiving and I can't wait to be right back with you again next week. Thanks for joining me on this week's episode of the Flavor of Leadership podcast. If you enjoyed what you heard, please share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, subscribe, rate, and review the show on your favorite podcast player. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback for us, you can reach me directly at flavoroflidership.com. Thanks for listening.